911. Help us understand as, as much detail as you can give us. What was your approach when you failed it? Because with the, I'm, I'm willing to bet there's a few instructors in here who had students that did not pass the first time. Oh, I'm, I'm willing to bet there might be a, just a few of us in here. So the goal, the takeaway for them is to, for you to help educate them about the mind of a student. How did you prepare to go back? Kind of walk us back through that about a year or so ago, right? A year and a half. What happened? Well, um, you know, seeing that test score when you fail and seeing the words fail kind of kill your spirit. And you know, you feel like you sit there in class all this time and you study and you spent all the time out of class studying and you fail and you just can't do it. But you know, after a while you, you get a support from your classmates or your instructors telling you you can do it. So you go home, you study some more and they tell you not to take too long before you retake it because the longer you take, the more time that you probably won't take the test. So. What I did was I listened to the blueprint, what they, they let out for us. I studied probably that whole entire weekend. The night before the test, I don't think I went to sleep. I just studied. I went to the, to the test probably wearing pajamas. <laughs> and I studied and I passed. And you know, it was, it's literally, you fail, you gotta try harder now. So, question for the group. How many of you guys, we, we like to say, nobody in Hope learns alone. We don't allow that. You could be like, what we call a low maintenance students, where all you gotta do is open the door, give you a computer and a desk, and you just gonna take off. There's, there's always have students like that. But that's not the normal students. Most of your students gonna be what we call uh, medium maintenance, and then you're gonna have some high maintenance students too. We all know what the high maintenance students look like, right? Um, we need you guys to, to help us with this one. If we offered A plus, Network Plus and Security Plus as a as organizations, would you would be willing to go A Plus, Network Plus, and Security Plus track, or would you be interested in jumping Network Plus and go to Security Plus? Me personally, um, my personal preference, I wanted to get into the security field, so I didn't mind skipping the security. I mean, the network. I do want to go back and obtain it though, just for the knowledge purposes, but. Um, e either way, if, if I feel like, um, I guess it would depend on the student and what they wanted to do with their career. But I, I wouldn't be opposed to skipping the network because that's what I did. What about you, Brittany? For me, my outlook on it was, it, because I, I want to get into the security field as well, but my outlook on it was, if I'm going to get into the security field, how am I going to secure something if I don't know anything about it? So, my view on it was I'm going to take the network plus because then I'll have some foundation on what it is that I'm securing. I'll have some knowledge on what it is that I'll be working with instead of everything being unfamiliar to me. And me going from the A plus to the network plus kind of, it bridged the gap and it made, it made my security plus extremely easy to take. Because I, my network plus, I had to put so much into it because everything, the, the complete concept, the devices, everything was new to me. So by the time I rolled over into studying for the security plus, I had to change my way of thinking as far as knowing that I'm looking at it on a security point of view, but also knowing that I've seen all of these before. I know what this equipment does. I know how this equipment works. I know the background foundational components of it. So it helped make going into the security plus testing so much easier. Anything to add to that when you say this? Um, so my route was not traditional. I went A plus and then security plus. Um, I was more so career oriented. I know in this area, DOD contracts is where the money is. So 8570 compliant. A plus makes you IAT level one. Security plus makes you IAT level two. Network plus is on the same level as A plus. So I felt as though it wasn't no reason for me to get a network plus. I'm trying to make more money, so, and I'm trying to boost my career, I'm going to Fort Security Plus. Complete opposite. Now, a, a lot of the jobs 